What's the point of using machine guns when explosive weapons are so prominent? Are they even good? What are their strengths and weaknesses? Which machine gun is the best? Let's go through all these questions and more with some bug squishing adventures. First, let's answer what's the point of using a machine gun. Machine guns as support weapons are indeed less utilized than any explosive weapon, but that's under the impression that they are trying to do what explosive weapons do. And well, that's not really a fair analysis. Machine guns are great for mainly two reasons. Firstly, the massive amount of wave clearing due to their large magazine size, or secondly, the heavy damage over time. Well, you may be asking yourself, I understand number one, but what is heavy damage over time? That's a great question. If rockets are immediate heavy damage, then to compare them to the machine gun class weapons, these would be damage over time because each bullet by itself is relatively underpowered. But the option of increasing rate of fire leads to buildup of damage that surpasses even rockets. Here, let's solidify this information with some in-game proof. Using the machine gun and heavy machine gun, you may initially think, well, these are more useless against Chargers and Bile Titans because they are both hard to hit due to their hard exterior, constant movement, and explosive attacks. And yes, that could be partly true. At first glance, the machine gun is ineffective against heavy armor, but that's because it's not meant to penetrate the armor like rockets are. Instead, it's made for switch cheesing fleshy parts and deleting HP over time. On Chargers, there's a small area under their belly that takes full damage to HMG shots. And you can see that the entire armor becomes ineffective if you shoot this area, and it also can be reached from the sides of the charger. And of course, melting through their butt is always an option. This'll work well with the HMG and machine gun support weapons, however, this in concept is easier done than in practice. So honestly, it'll be easier to equip anti-tank stratagems like the rail cannon and 500kg bombs to get the job done. To answer our next question, are they good? we need to take a look at their strengths and weaknesses. The Stalwart is a nice choice for clearing bug swarms due to its massive magazine size, walking reload animation, and a low recoil. This weapon excels at destroying any and all bugs medium armor and under, though it fails to take on medium armor straight on, so you'll need to aim precisely if you're going to be attacking armored targets, though with a magazine size as large as this one, it's not a big deal to adjust your aim while you continue to shoot. The machine gun is actually a pretty solid choice and it has a perfect balance of damage being able to hit through medium armor and magazine size having over 150 bullets per match. It'll be a better option in my opinion to the stalwart due to it having more power and still a decent size ammo clip to keep light infantry off your player while decisively killing medium armor enemies quickly. It still does struggle against heavy armor targets but it can kill them if aimed at the fleshy parts. This is actually a bit better against Chargers and Bile Titans than the Heavy Machine Gun is because you can actually seem to get more damage over time with this weapon. The Heavy Machine Gun is your objective clear, able to kill Spore Blooms and other objectives with ease from close or medium range. Its short clip of only 75 bullets per magazine will be a bit of an issue in terms of clearing mobs, paired with its extensively long reload animation, this weapon struggles a bit in both departments. However, it can clear out medium armored enemies very effectively and can decimate smaller foes in a single bullet. The strange thing about this weapon is that the stalwart and heavy machine gun both take one resupply to fully restock, while the machine gun will take two resupplies to fully restock. This seems like a glitch that'll need to be patched, but it's important to keep it in mind so you're prepared to waste ammo reloading this weapon if need be. Now, the most important aspect of using any of the machine guns is to master the RPMs. Now I'm sure most of you leave it where you find it, and those that actually adjust the RPMs will do it once and forget about it. But that's where you're missing out. As the machine guns tend to waste more ammo than necessary due to their high damage output, it's crucial to adjust their damage according to your situation. Set the RPMs to the lowest setting on machine guns and heavy machine guns to maximize the amount of time you have shooting these weapons and minimize the time you spend reloading them. When a heavy enemy approaches, that's when you should switch to a high RPM to increase the damage over time you can dish out, but just remember to switch it back when you are back to wave clearing the weaker bugs. This was something I found incredibly useful, and yes, it's more active and takes more effort to keep switching between the fire modes, but the results are well worth it. 
If anything, it makes these weapons start to shine as you'll spend more time fighting and less time reloading because you're not overkilling your enemies. Make sure to use your HMD to clear out objectives as well, or use your stalwart as a primary weapon so you can focus on building something unique. Anyways, I hope this guide taught you something you haven't yet thought about and made you excited to try these tactics out yourself. If you did learn something, please hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to comment as it's a way for me to engage with you, my amazing community. Anyways, that's it, and I hope to see you all in my next video.